About a year and a half ago, I was planning a volunteer trip. There were 12 of us going to help assist with the refugees in Greece. I was actually in boot camp, putting this fake helicopter fire out. And all of a sudden, I just remember everything going black. I felt like I needed oxygen so badly. I was short of breath, and I felt really sick. They just said, oh, you're dehydrated, you're exhausted. Breathe it out, maybe it's just anxiety. They never told me to go get checked by a cardiologist. Relax, because I was feeling anxiety. And I was like, um, okay, I mean, you're the doctor. Women have higher mortality rates than men when they have a heart attack. Women are less likely to be treated with evidence-based therapies when having a heart attack. My name is Allison McGregor. I'm an attending physician at Rhode Island Hospital, and I'm the director for the Division of Sex and Gender in Emergency Medicine. How is Miss Bright? Um, she's over in the chest pain unit. Chest pain unit, okay. I will go check in on her. If a woman presents to the emergency department having a heart attack, there is great potential that that will not be recognized. Hi, I'm Dr. McGregor. So what happened tonight? I ain't never been so scared in my life like this. Okay. I don't feel good, something's wrong. In general, men who are having a heart attack present with crushing chest pain. Women, however, don't often call it pain. They're more likely to describe it as an uncomfortable feeling. I'm just going to listen to your heart here. Most of our diagnostic testing has been developed to detect the way that men have disease. OK. And do you have that chest discomfort right now while we're sitting here? We don't fully understand how this disease manifests in women, how to diagnose it, and then how to adequately treat it. In the United States, there is a big health disparity between men and women in terms of the care that they receive. We're really at the point now where we're just beginning to investigate and understand why that is. If we now know that women may have a different way of having cardiovascular disease, what about stroke? Or what about infections? And what about cancer? And what about trauma? Our society doesn't value women, and so and, and that's a broad statement, but what gets really important for women is advocating for themselves because unfortunately, no one else is doing the advocating for them or us. I would hope that this film would inspire other people to see that not only is it important, not only is it social injustice, but that we can do this. We can do it.